And a Gulf Shores High School student getting national recognition for her art, which you have to seek up close. Yeah, the detail really impressive, and it won her a trip to Carnegie Hall in New York City. Our Baldwin County reporter Michael Warwick learning how she puts all the pieces together. So like right here, especially on the hair, I do with a white gel pen. Her work can take up to 36 hours from picking out a photograph to putting graphite to paper. I think time and patience and a lot of practice get someone to this because my very first portrait was not a good one. Senior Liliana Betts receiving two gold keys from the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards for these two pieces of art. It's the highest recognition possible out of her region. The first time I ever saw her do one of these pieces, but she showed it to me, I was like, wow, is that a photograph? And then my second thought, was, she actually drew this. This is, this is almost like insane. Liliana's work taking her all the way from Coach Boyd's classroom here at Gulf Shores High School to Carnegie Hall, where her work will be recognized and celebrated. I mean, I don't like attention drawn to me a whole lot, but it does feel good to have people appreciate it. Liliana's teacher, Austin Boyd, an exceptional artist in his own right, not passing up the trip to see his student recognized at one of the world's most prestigious venues. Yeah, amazing. You know, like I said, I'm, she was telling me, uh, you're more excited about it than I am. I was like, absolutely, you know, I'm happy for you. You know, of course, of course, I've never been to New York, which would be great, but I'm excited for her to go as well, you know, to see her on stage. And A trip that's well-deserved. In Gulf Shores, Michael Warwick, Fox 10 News.